What if I told you you could have your grapple melee up consistently with the ability to become constantly invisible and constantly get health regeneration as well as keeping buffs like unraveling rounds and keeping perks like golden tricorn times two with the 50% bonus damage active endlessly? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. Before we get started though, if any moment during this video you do find this helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing and tapping that bell button so you won't miss future videos. With that said, let's dive right in. So starting off with the two main ingredients for this build to work, we're going to need the grenade ability grapple on the hunter subclass running strand. And for the second ingredient, we're going to need the hunter exotic helmet assassin's cow. The interaction between these two is that every time you perform a grapple melee and get a kill, you're going to proc the benefits of assassin's cow, which when getting a charged melee final blow grants invisibility and health regeneration. What's great about this is the grapple melee ability to despite taking up your grenade, counts as both a grenade and melee ability. On top of this, by default, because of the aspect Whittle Silk, we get a second grenade ability charge out of the gate. So we can perform this two times in a row before having to wait for the ability to recharge. And once we spec into mods and stats, we'll be able to basically have this ability up all the time. On top of this, in addition to Assassin's Cow making us invisible on both melee kills with threaded spike and grapple melee kills, it also gives us the same benefits when finishing an enemy which actually pairs perfectly with grapple melee because when you get a grapple melee kill in a group of adds, not only does it kill the enemy you just grappled, but it also spreads that damage within a three to five meter radius. And as a result, I often found a lot of enemies around me would be finishable after performing a grapple melee kill, essentially giving me the option to chain my invisibility and health regen even further. Also, one other cool thing that I discovered is anytime an enemy is near a tangle, if you shoot that tangle and kill that enemy with that explosion, it's actually also also going to proc Assassin's Cow. So essentially you have four different ways to go invisible. A grapple melee, threaded spike melee, a finisher, and destroying tangles that kill enemies nearby. Now moving on to the fragments, the first one that's going to help us get our grenade energy back or grapple even faster is going to be the fragment thread of generation. Essentially what this will do is as we deal damage, we're going to get grenade energy back with each hit. Although we don't have exact numbers, I've seen some people say it seems to be about around 1% per hit, which means you're more than likely going to want to use an SMG, auto rifle, or LMG to take full advantage of this fragment. I myself love pairing this with the Strand SMG, Synchronic Roulette, or the Season a Defiance Auto Rifle Perpetualist, which by the way can roll with Golden Tricorn, which pairs perfectly with this build, which I'll talk about later on. Now the next fragment I'm using is Thread of Propagation. Since this build is focused heavily on getting grapple melee kills, this fragment is going to pair perfectly with this build, allowing us to essentially have unraveling rounds active for our weapons all the time. And in case you didn't know already, unraveling rounds is similar to something like volatile rounds, except it's utilizing the strand verb unravel. And the cool part about unraveling rounds is not only does it give you bonus damage on enemies, but it also can damage barrier champion shields, ultimately stunning those champions when you destroy those shields. The next fragment I'm using is Thread of Finality. Since we're using Assassin's Cow, anytime we finish an enemy, we get health regen and invisibility. And with this fragment, every time we finish an enemy, we're also guaranteed to spawn a Threadling, or those little strand worms, which then will seek out other enemies and damage them, helping us to better add clear. What's cool about this fragment too, is depending on the enemy type, it will determine how many Threadlings you actually spawn. Although I don't have exact numbers, I did notice when finishing a champion, it would spawn three Threadlings, versus is one when finishing a miner. And finally for the last fragment, this one is more of a personal preference, but I went with Thread of Ascent. The key reason why is when using your grenade ability, it reloads your weapons, which feeds into this build's gameplay loop, which we'll cover once we have gone over the armor mods. On top of this, it's also going to boost your reload speed and handling for 15 seconds. Now, I do want to mention the last two fragments, Thread of Finality and Thread of Ascent, aren't super important to this build. I chose them more for the purpose of synergizing with the gameplay loop and the weapon that I'm going to be using. If you instead wanted to utilize some of the woven male fragments for more pinnacle content, absolutely free to switch those out. With that said, I do recommend however that you keep thread of propagation and generation as those play a much bigger role in making this build more effective. 
effective. Now moving on to the armor mods, starting with the helmet mod, the main mods I'm utilizing here is first the Strand Siphon mod, which is gonna give me orbs of power on rapid kills. This is where the weapon that I'm using is really gonna come in handy. I'm actually utilizing the Season of Defiance auto rifle, Perpetualist with Golden Tricorn, which pairs perfectly with this build because we're constantly getting melee kills. We're gonna proc that times two of Golden Tricorn, which gives us that bonus 50% damage and is gonna help us to take enemies down quicker and produce more orbs. The other mod I'm using is Ashes to Assets. Since Grapple Melee counts as a grenade ability, every time we get a Grapple Melee kill, we're going to get super energy back, helping us to improve our super cooldown time. As for the arm mods, I'm utilizing two grenade kickstart mods. What this does is when using a grenade ability, or in this case, Grapple Melee, we get grenade energy back. And with us having a second kickstart mod, it's basically going to act like an extra armor charge. In addition to these two mods, I'm also using Impact Induction, which when causing damage with a melee attack is going to reduce our grenade cooldown by around 20%. Moving on to the chest mods, I'm utilizing the mod Font of Endurance, which when we have an armor charge active, is gonna give us a plus 30 to our resilience stat. And with my resilience currently sitting at 70, that's gonna bring it over to 100 when this mod is active. You can also stack this mod with two of them giving you a plus 50 to resilience and three of them giving you a plus 60. I'm also using the mod Charged Up, which increases the number of stacks of armor chargers you can carry by one. As for the leg mods, I'm utilizing Strand Weapon Surge for that bonus damage on top of the Strana Auto Rifle I'm using with Golden Tricorn. I'm also using Font of Agility, which is going to give us plus 30 to mobility when an armor charge is active, allowing us to get our dodge back faster so we can utilize the ability to suspend enemies more often. I'm also utilizing the mod Innervation, which grants grenade energy when picking up an orb of power. And finally, for the class item mod, I'm utilizing the mod's Proximity Ward, which grants us an overshield while in the middle of a finishing animation, which is going to pair perfectly with Assassin's Cow since we're going to be finishing enemies quite often. I'm also using the mod Time Dilation, which is going to extend the decay time of our armor charges so it lasts longer. And finally, I'm using one bomber mod, which is going to reduce our grenade cooldown anytime we use our class ability, which is one of the reasons why I used Font of Agility earlier to help boost our mobility stat so we can use our class ability more often. Now, when it comes to stats, I think the three main stats that you really want to lean into here is going to be Resilience, Discipline, and Recovery. Since we're going to be up close with enemies quite a bit, using our grapple melee to get grapple melee kills, you're going to want to have a high resilience and high recovery so you can take more damage and recover your health quickly. And as for discipline, that's of course going to help us get our grenade or melee grapple back even faster. Now when it comes to weapons and loadouts, you really can use anything here. But as I mentioned earlier, the one weapon that synergizes I think really well with this build is going to be the Strand Auto Rifle from Season of Defiance, Perpetualist. The reason why is this can roll with Golden Tricorn and this perk is a lot of times overlooked because sometimes it can seem a little bit confusing on how it works. Essentially what happens is this perk is going to feed perfectly into the gameplay loop of this build. And that gameplay loop is this. Get a weapon kill, then get a melee grapple kill, proc golden tricorn times two, then you have about five or six seconds to unload on enemies, and then grapple melee again to refresh golden tricorn times two and just continue that loop. Now do keep in mind, you don't have to have golden tricorn times two procced all the time. It's just nice extra bonus damage to have. If you want, you can focus just on staying invisible after getting your grapple melee kill, stay invisible, find an enemy to finish, and you can essentially keep that invisibility and health regeneration on demand going with an option to always proc golden tricorn times to anytime you want. When it comes to viability for this build, I would say most content this build works well. I even tested it out on the Master Duality Galron encounter solo and it worked quite well. Now I will say this setup by no means is going to do the work for you. In more pinnacle content, you still are going to need to be strategic if you're running master level content. It's not going to make you invincible, but it does give you greater survivability and it is a viable option in pinnacle content. With that said, I probably wouldn't take this build into something like a Grandmaster Nightfall because it requires you to be up close with enemies, whereas Grandmaster Nightfalls, you kind of have to hang back more. But for most other content, dungeons, raids, exotic missions, whatever it may be, this build works really well. In fact, this build came in really handy in the final encounter with Callus on the legendary campaign when I was running it solo, because essentially I could just fly around the room, constantly going invisible, helping me to stay alive, and ultimately making that encounter a lot easier. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks again, Guardians, for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later.